Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at the stylized water for URP. And this is an amazing asset created by Alexander Amai, and it's absolutely free on the Unity Asset Store. And it has a bunch of features all supported for URP with 2019.3.9 and above. It's got absolutely insane features, which include buoyancy, waves to adjust scale, size with the form, color, interaction with the gradients for color and customization, refraction, acoustics, planar reflections, tune lighting options, loads of different options in this asset that I'm going to show you today and let me know what you think. So be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 140 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Be sure to check out all the links in the description to check out all the amazing sales and content from the Unity Asset Store on Humble Bundle Sales. And throw a like on this video and don't forget to be subscribed to always be kept up to date with what I'm producing. So what you could do is search the stylized water for URP and you'll see it here on the Asset Store and you can just click to add to your assets if you haven't already and then just click open as long as you've got a URP project available. Now if at any time when you're in Unity that you need to import this asset and you've already got it added to your assets, you can go to Window, Package Manager and you can make sure that it's in this drop down, you can go to My Assets and you can just type in Stylize Water for URP and make sure you click Download and click Import. Once it's in, it will become imported in your scene, which is stylized water for URP. And there's a bunch of materials, demos, and there is actually full documentation online for you to get a hold of all the information for troubleshooting performance, all the change logs, the showcases, and everything that you need to know about this asset. But you can also see that it's got various demos. It's got a specific beach demo to create water that cascades onto a beach front. It has a buoyancy demo to showcase objects that float on the water. It's got more of a generic water style that interacts with objects that are in the water and has some planar reflections. So you can see the reflections of the edges, the sides and the other areas. And then it also has a more of a stylized water demo as it's featured in lots of different games. So you can actually start out by grabbing one of the prefabs from the scene or starting out by grabbing one of the demos. So we're just gonna look at some of the different water types today. You can see that I've got this generic water, which is more of a realistic style water with the actual effects in here. We've got options for colors and transparency for the depth color, that the shallow will be when it's closer to an object, the deepness around how dark it would be on the edges, what the depth would be, so how deep or how close it would be depending on how where the objects are in the water. The horizon settings, the settings for the shore and how that's affected with the edge of the water and then the top of the waves to customize those settings. Then you have an option for surface foam. You can choose the type of foam which would be on the surface of the actual water and you can choose the different effects based on the textures or create them yourself. You can change the cutoff with how much they affect based on the alpha transparency, the distortion of how much the lower distortion and you can affect the scale of the primary, the direction of which they face and the speed at which they move. Then you can also affect the foam on the top with the same type of settings. And you have the intersection effects, which is affected by actual objects in the world and how they intersect with the actual. You can change specific directions, scales and blending from there. You do have an option for foam specific shadows. If you wanted to add that effect, options for strength, intersection and form effects. If you want to create that effect underwater, you have options for acoustics as it suggests that they should be added in the custom renderer and there's more information in the documentation about that. Planar reflections to get the reflection on the edge of objects or inside the water. Cause if you can see, I am move the strength, you can see that the walls actually get reflected in the bottom of the water and the Fresnel effect, which can affect how wavy they would look in the water itself. You can have whether you have surface lighting. Now, if I disable it, you can see it like so. And then when we've got the surface lighting, you get some look of lighting reflections. You can change the hardness or the smoothness to check how that would be. You could set the normals. So then you could have different style strength of how much you want the waves to affect the look and distort the look of how they feel. Then you can have the specific effects for the waves, how much the steepness is. So you can make some really vast waves have really massive scale so you can change lots of different effects and speed things like that and you can have specific underwater effects for how transparent 
and how much the refraction affects the areas that are in there and additional settings where is the UV space. And like I said, there's a buoyancy specific demo here, which any buoyancy object needs to have a rigid body and a box collider. And it allows you to add the buoyant object script. As you can see here, you can affect the buoyancy strength the drag of how that's going to be moved around and you need to make sure that you and you attach the actual specific water that's going to affect it and choose how much it sinks into the water. And the last section just shows that you can create more of a stylistic effect with the foam and the intersection and the waves without super realistic effects which keeps it lightweight for mobile and other specific stylized options. So be sure to let me know what you think of this asset. Check it out on the Unity Asset Store and give a big thanks to to Alexander for creating an absolutely awesome asset for URP. Do be sure to check out my Patreon to get access to over 140 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Check out my great assets on the Unity Store with bonus discounts on my website for all of those, for all my subscribers. And thank you to all my amazing patrons and a special big thanks to Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Pavel, Tan Yanlin, Monetary, US Rush Tube 2X, Ian, Rianatiers, Nick, Dave, David76, Sammy Romani, and Jean Pomier. So thank you so much for watching, being amazing, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.